Morning. Okay, so I'm working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I'm um, just going to get my gloves on here. Um, I'm going to do a, another combo pour, uh, the dustpan pour, ring pour style pour that I've been doing recently. I really, really love uh, the outcome with the negative space. Um, I'm using, using Prussian blue as my negative space today. Um, I might put some in the pour. I'm not quite sure yet, but for right now, we're just going to do this. I'm using the same colors as I used with um, Low Tide, um, and that's white, Arteza's Bordeaux Red, Bright Aqua Green, Fire Opal, 24K Gold, Metallic Sapphire and Deep Turquoise with a little bit of, um, a little bit, that's good consistency, of uh, Mysterious. We still have a little. I actually had somebody send me a bottle recently, so I was like really excited to be able to have another bottle. So, um, right, so all my paints are all watered down a bit. Uh, the Metallics, these three Metallics, uh, these two Metallics, the gold and the fire opal are mixed equal parts with Floetrol and add a little bit of water so that the consistency is a little runny. Definitely not like the straight pours that I do. Um, the metallic sapphire is mixed eight parts Floetrol to one part paint. I have equal, par uh, not equal parts, I have Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics, and that's two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And add water to all of these to thin them down to about the same consistency. This is Arteza's Bordeaux Red. This is seven ounces of, um, or was seven ounces of Floetrol to about one ounce of the paint, maybe a little bit less. You could really stretch that. My white's two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I added a dab of, uh, Deco Art Satin Enamel and um, watered it down a bit so that it was more fluid-like. And this is, um, actually this is Master's Touch Deep Turquoise Heavy Body Paint with some Mysterious. And that is about an ounce of the paint or a half ounce of the paint to about, I wanna say six ounces of Floetrol. And then I added some Mysterious in water. So let me give a torch to my canvas one last time. And I use my Crater, Urban Crater one because I like the flame a little bit better on this one. Um, I mixed my paints last night, but the Prussian Blue really has a lot of um, air bubbles in it because I mixed it with an egg beater. <laughs> to get it really well mixed. So I'm gonna layer my cup. I'm gonna do white first. And I think I'm gonna go with, move this out of the way. Um. I'm gonna add a little bit. And I'm gonna do some fire opal.
and some bright apple green. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm digging the bright aqua green first, but okay. Mm -hmm. Decisions. I think I want it to flow into the blue a little bit better, so a little bit blue at the end. these colors out of the way. Now for the good old shovel dustpan thing. Okay. This way a bit, and this way a bit.
All right, so I'm thinking, probably didn't have to stretch that off so much. I did like it with a little more negative space. Um, we'll see. Of me, I have a bit of a cough. I've been getting sick, and it's just getting worse. But I'm but I'm already on some medicine, so that's good. I think I've stopped the progression for the most part. detail in here somewhere although I love this this is actually super pretty the red and the fire opal and the gold really just give it a pow moment but I think I'll add a little in here It is pouring out, so if you hear that dripping, that would be the rain on the windows. I'm just gonna leave it alone because I really am liking this a lot walk away all right so I'm just gonna scrape up the edges here is uh, a bit crooked it's going downhill we did when we built it it was all level but I think with the dishwasher under it it passes moisture and heat to the butcher block countertop and it's now bowed so life lessons <laughs> anywho all right guys I think that's it I'll bring you in a few minutes for a close-up all right, here we are. Oh my gosh, I love this with the Prussian blue. Look at all of this. Oh, it's such a perfect color combination next to Prussian blue. And I love how it changes to the different colors over here. So I wasn't going to do a companion piece, but then I decided I'll use the leftovers and this is what I got. Look how awesome that sort of flows together. It's pretty cool. And I just did a simple ring pour on this and then 
pulled it off the bottom edge but left a little bit of the center still there. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching on this rainy day. I hope you guys have a fabulous Thursday and uh, I don't know. That's all for now. Go get painting. Have a great day.